sensible guide dogs. Um, so Emily, one of the first things we do is teach the dog to pair the clicker with a food reward and the platform becomes very, very sort of attractive to the dog and that way you can then teach the dog to ignore skills such as uh, good obedience. Emily is not even looking at me, he doesn't care. So it's one way we can teach the dog to ignore distractions while using positive reinforcement. And you can see the enthusiasm that Gilroy shows. And just teaching the dog to be with you, and with those constant changes in direction on the street, that you're not necessarily going to see the food on the ground to anticipate it. So that requires a lot of discipline from our dogs and lots of training to ignore the food, to, uh, to walk past it. Um, so then they're not um, going for the food while they're guiding somebody, because that's, uh, that's one of our really Single um, a bit longer, and she'll be starting to look for that moment when you over many, many years. Um, and this is again, this is teach the tippy to put her chin on the seat for the handler to then put their hand down and find the empty seat. So she's going to gradually increase the distance that Tippy has to do to find the seat. And the dog will still get a reward at the seat, but we're going to introduce more and more skills along the way. Teaching Tippy to find not just any seat, but find, an em find the empty part of the seat. So now if Tippy was to find the seat that had somebody in it, she would just not get a reward. So she wouldn't get rewarded for finding a seat that has somebody in it. Instead, Gina would just wait until she indicates the empty part and then she'll get a reward. So you see, Tippy still wants the original part of the, uh, the original seat that she found, which is okay, this is all part of her learning. So she learns that that no longer um, gets the reward, but she'll get a reward if, when she finds the empty part of the seat. And this time with a bit more confidence, going back to the empty part, Junior will say, find the seat, and there Tibby goes and finds the empty seat. And Gina might show now, going under and putting herself under the seat. Very nice. Well done, Gina and Tibby. <laughs> right. Thanks to our two volunteers as well. Our volunteers will give the word forward, which is the cue to Gilroy then to move off. to the road and stop. Good. Once the handler checks that it's all clear, they can then ask the dog to uh, go forward again. So forward is the cue for moving off. Now Kilroy's wondering a little bit about what's going on here. And Bex just uh, there to find that, follow the handle. And then right at the end, you can ask the Gilroy to find the seat, good, and put her hand down, locate the seat, very good. Well done, thanks Beck and thanks Gilroy.